welcome or welcome back to my channel this video is a very requested one which is how do I edit my videos now talking a bit about my editing journey I started editing when I opened up my YouTube channel and I have learned editing completely from scratch just like you uh, watching YouTube videos learning from the best editors around on from their channels and all that stuff and experimenting a bit on my own and learning it so without wasting a lot of time let's quickly dive into the video first of all talking about what are the equipments that you require for editing so firstly i use my laptop i have a macbook air and i edit using this you can even edit using your phone or your ipad or your tablets any of the devices that you have editing is possible on all of these devices Coming to the second question which is what applications to use to edit videos. Now I am making this video specific to YouTube videos but if you also make short videos like YouTube shorts or Instagram reels there are completely separate uh, ways of editing. For my Instagram reels if I have to say I use three apps mainly VLLO, InShot and VL and similar uh, goes with youtube shorts but when i talk about my youtube videos which are my long form videos i use several softwares first of all i began editing on imovie imovie is a completely free software and it is only available on apple devices secondly i also used vllo i also tried using davinci resolve that is also a completely free software but वो थोड़ा सा इट वेंट ओवर माई हेड मुझे बिल्कुल नहीं समझ आता था इसलिए इट डेंट वर्क फॉर मी एंड नाउ फाइनली एट दिस स्टेज आई जस्ट बॉड फाइनल कट प्रो जस्ट अ मंथ एंड हाफ अगो and i am pretty much loving the interface and i'm pretty comfortable with final cut pro now let's talk about how do you begin editing videos so first of all i believe when you want to do something you need to see how are the best people in that field working so what i do usually is whenever i'm free whenever i don't feel like doing anything i go up on youtube and i watch uh, youtubers big youtubers who have like really good editing skills whose videos are are really nicely edited aesthetic vlogs and you know sit down videos informative videos all of these things i watch which gives me a lot of inspiration a lot of new editing ideas so this is the one thing get inspired watch videos know what are the new ideas trending in the market about editing what are the trending music the trending uh, audio clips what are the trending memes and everything you need to know all of that now starting with editing a video for the demo i'll show you how do i edit this video that i'm filming right now i am editing this particular video on final cut pro but the basics that i'm going to tell you are going to remain the same for almost all the editing softwares or apps that you use so first of all what we do is we make a new project and we import all the files all the videos that you've taken from different devices for example i shoot with my camera and also from my phone so i combine all the clips and i import it into this one project of final cut pro once i'm done with that now what happens is is the first cut or the first edit of the video where you just use three commands command b command c and command x what does that mean command b is split command c is copy and command x is cut and if you're using windows command becomes control so control plus c control plus x and control plus b so what i do is i just watch hours and hours of footage example i have a shot of vlog so the footage goes from 2 hours to 4 hours i have to watch all the footage and i have to cut the clips according to the parts that i want in the vlog and remove the unwanted parts and also if i have shot some sort of uh, studying video or some sort of uh, you know decluttering video i'll just speed up a few clips to make a time lapse out of it i don't usually shoot time lapses with my camera i shoot normal videos with my camera and then i speed them up while editing or if there are certain videos where i want a speed down all that stuff i do in this first cut secondly what i also do is i add my end scene now end scene is something that forms the signature of your channel so make sure to make a nice end screen i made my end screen using final cut pro and pixart now talking about the second cut now what do i do once i'm done with the first cut 
I'll go back to the start of the video and now once I have a basic idea about what's been happening in the video, what's the storyline, how, how am I going to narrate the story, I start building it up. So uh, I try to add effects, I try to add texts, I try to add several other things. So first of all, we'll talk about how do you add texts in your uh, videos. Now texts are something that can make your video very very appealing. They can make a very simple and boring video into a very aesthetic and you know interesting video. To add texts in Final Cut Pro, what I usually do is I go to the text tab and uh, I import uh, this custom 3D wala text usually and then I change it. I change its style. I change the font according to me. Now talking about the fonts. Now depending on the softwares and the apps that you are using, this procedure might differ. For example, when I edit on VLLO, VLLO has some preset uh, texts which are really cool. You should definitely try those texts out on VLLO. While on Final Cut Pro, I have to do a little more of mehnat. Uh, what I do is I import fonts. Now for fonts, I'll give you a website which is dafont.com mentioned here. It's a beautiful website. So what I do is when I watch YouTube videos and when I like certain uh, fonts a lot, I go on and I search them on dafont.com and I download them. Once I download them, I import them on my Final Cut Pro and then I use those fonts for my edit. You can also change the colors, the shadows, outline glow, everything on every other editing software. Now along with the text, there also are a lot of text effects. Now when you use mobile softwares, mobile apps like VLLO, you get a lot of text effects built in in the app. But when you're editing on uh, proper editing softwares in the laptop, you need to build those effects. While a lot of effects are also available on Final Cut Pro. For example, my favorite text effect is Typewriter. I also like this wavy effect. I like to move the text around here and there. I like when the text wobbles or this neon text effect. These are all really cute and nice effects. Now talking about sound effects. Now sound effects are also something that grab a lot of attention and uh, if you go up on YouTube, search for uh, famous vloggers, you will find that there are certain common uh, sound effects that most of them use. For example... No, 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 no! My favorite ones are... You might have heard them a lot of times in my videos, so yes. So it's not a lot of rocket science. What all you have to do is, do the audio effect you like. For example, I really like the mouse click effect. So uh, what I usually do is, Final Cut Pro mostly effects mil jaate hain. But if I don't get it here, I go up on YouTube and I search for mouse click sound effect copyright free. Make sure to write copyright free or else you know you can get a copyright on your uh, YouTube video. So once you're done with that, uh, you simply download that particular YouTube video in the form of an audio. You can go to y2me.com, that's the website that I use and you can download that particular audio effect and easily use them in your uh, videos. Now talking about transitions. Transitions are also a very important part and Synchronizing transitions with sound effects is something that I love. For example, yes, I love this effect. You might have seen this a lot in my videos and I love adding this. So yes, I have a few transitions only that I use a lot of times. One is cross dissolve, one is fade to black, the other one is cube. These are the top three transitions on Final Cut Pro that I use and these are very common transitions and they are available on every other editing app. Now let's come to video effects like frames, stickers, doodles, effects and all of that. Now when I talk about doodles, I don't use a lot of doodles in my videos but a doodle is this. So uh, for this doodle what do I do? I usually go up on Procreate, so as I told you I have an iPad, I go on Procreate, I you know doodle on my own using my Apple Pencil and I download that particular doodle as a PNG and I import it in my Final Cut Pro. You can also use Photoshop to do the same or if you know of any other app that helps you make a PNG, 
uh, using a doodle you can do that and add it it adds a really nice effect you know adds to the aesthetics of your video next i talk about frames so frames are something that are built in in uh, phone apps like VLLO. VLLO has really nice frames. Even this phone app called Snow, it has really really nice frames. But you can always go up on the internet and download frames online. Now talking about effects, Final Cut Pro already has a lot of built in effects. So I do not need to you know worry about that but in case you're editing on your phone even apps like uh, InShot, apps like VLLO they have really cool effects and even this app called Snow I still use this app called Snow and VLLO so yes they have amazing effects and you should definitely check them out now once I'm done with adding the text the audio effects frames, stickers, transitions all this stuff I come on to making the intro yes I make the intro of my video almost at the end because by now I have the idea that what are the highlights of my video what are the things that I really need to highlight and what are the things that will form the key attractor of my video so then I import a few clips on my phone I usually make my intros on my phone so I import a few highlight clips of the video on my phone I do the first cut as I do for my regular video I do the first cut on VLLO I export it and then I go to this app called Snow it has a lot of frames and a lot of effects and you know I don't uh, like the frames for the intro especially on Final Cut Pro so I edit it on this app called Snow it has wonderful effects and that is what I love and that is how I add my intro I usually add text also in my intro that I do use VLLO. Now once I'm done with all of this, I add the music to my videos. Now music is something that forms the core of your videos. So be very sure to add some really nice music that vibes with your video. that you know there is a sad uh, you know sequence going on in your video and the audio that's playing that's really happy and cheerful and dancey kind of you no. Know. For audios I'd say there is YouTube audio library go there and find out audios but you know it's really difficult to find audios there matlab mujhe to bahut difficulty hoti hai honestly to find out audios so what i do is i go up on youtube and i type no copyright music for vlogs i don't like paying for my music so i don't use any paid softwares for my music i just go up on youtube and i type and then i look for videos uh, you will have to be careful there are a certain videos that require you to give the music credit in the description so be sure to check their description if they want you to give them credit in your video description copy that particular description and add it in your own video description or else you can get a copyright strike on your video which won't be good for your video as well as your channel and I guess that is about it. These were all the basic things that I use to edit my videos. Let me know if you have any more questions, any more doubts, any more things that you want me to explain regarding editing my videos. I'll be happy to do that. And if you want me to do a video on how do I edit my thumbnails, I'll even be happy to do that. So do let me know in the comments. And yes, I'll be signing off. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. I'm so so glad and if you like this video please drop a thumbs up drop a comment share it with the people who need it if you have a friend who wants to edit or who wants to learn editing do share it with them and do subscribe to the channel i'll see you again oh also do not forget to follow me on instagram and yes i'll see you again till then stay safe stay happy bye bye